Okay, this is video number one for chapter three um, in financial accounting. This chapter is about the adjusting process. So in chapters one and two, we talked about how to record transactions. Um, we also talked about how to post them to the ledger. And then we talked about um, from the ledger them going to a trial balance, but notice that we called it the unadjusted trial balance because it was a trial balance before we made our um, end of period, whatever that period is, but our end of period adjustments. And that's what this chapter is about, is making adjustments before we create the financial statements. So this is the trial balance we created with a couple of new additions. We'll talk about these new accounts. Some of them are more complicated than others. Accumulated depreciation and depreciation expense, I'm gonna have a whole video on that. Um, so I'll hold off on those for right now. Uh, wages payable is just another liability, but it's a specific liability for salaries that I owe to my uh, salaries or wages that I owe to my uh, employees, but have not yet paid. And then I have a new uh, revenue account, which is pretty self-explanatory, just rent revenue. So revenues that come in from um, with uh, from renting something, um, and then insurance expense, kind of also self-explanatory, the expense side of what I pay for my insurance policies. Um, so a couple of principles we really have to know in order to get this, or in order to understand this chapter fully. Um, uh, there are two uh, kind of major categories of, of how you can do accounting. There's the accrual basis of accounting, and there is the, um, which I have right here, um, and then there's the cash basis of accounting. In this class, we're really only gonna use the accrual basis. So I'll mention cash right now, and really won't talk about it much other than that. So the cash basis of accounting basically says that revenues aren't revenues until you actually receive the cash or pay for it. And expenses aren't expenses until you actually pay the cash for the expense. Um, you can use this form of accounting and some smaller businesses do. Larger businesses pretty much only use accrual accounting and most businesses use uh, accrual accounting. Um, so that's what we'll be studying in this course. Accrual accounting on the other hand, um, revenue is revenue when it is earned and we match our expenses also recorded in that period regardless of whether cash has changed hands. Um, I shouldn't say or not, but regardless of whether cash has changed hands. Oops, sorry. Um, so, um, moving on from that. Uh, the revenue recognition principle. Revenue is recorded when services have been performed or products have been delivered to customers. Once I have earned it, which is, which is done through performing a service, if I'm a service business or delivering a product to a customer, once I have earned it, it is a revenue. Whether or not I've been paid for it or not, it does not make a difference. Expense recognition pr principle. Expenses incurred in generating this revenue must be reported in the same period. This is also called, another name for this is the matching principle. I need to match up the expenses that I pay for to earn the revenues and they should go in the same period of time. Since the income statement is for a period of time, you can make sure any expenses incurred in earning the revenue. So for this one, I've got $16,000 worth of revenue. Any expenses that were used for that, even if cash has not been spent on them yet, need to go in the same period or time frame that I earned money for it. Uh, so uh, notice that cash exchange is not a part of either of those definitions. Okay, so kind of just an overview of the adjusting process real quick, um, and just like the type of uh, entries we're gonna be making. So the first one, first type of entry um, is an accrual. An accrual is when a revenue has been earned or an expense has been incurred, but has not yet been recorded. So this would be if you had revenue that was earned but not yet paid, um, and you haven't put it in the books yet, that's a revenue accrual, um, expense, um, if you uh, had an expense that you had paid already but was not on your books um, as, as being used up yet or being incurred, that would be that adjusting entry. A deferral um, is when, sorry, I found a typo. Um, a deferral, on the other hand, is, is when cash related to future events has been initially recorded as a liability or an asset. I don't know why that something got deleted. Uh, revenue or expense has been initially reported as a liability or an asset. Um, so that's a deferral. So something is recorded as liability or asset to begin with, and then usually, oftentimes, it's time has passed. Um, could be other things, but time is usually a key element in this. Um, 
And then once that time has passed, that liability or asset changes over to either a revenue or an expense. And we'll stop the video here for now and we'll move on with the second part of chapter three in the next video.